Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look at the bike rack for the California. Uh, so the bike rack's the one that's behind me here. Uh, now as some of you may or may not know, there is actually two different variations of the bike rack. Uh, so today we're looking at the standard bike rack, which is the one for uh, that covers all vehicles except ones with electric tailgate. Uh, we're going to do a separate video on that particular bike rack. Uh, you can actually fit both bike racks to any of the vehicles that's here, uh, but you can't fit this one to a vehicle that's got electric tailgate. Uh, but that's not to worry on California because no Californias come with electric tailgate. Uh, so it's only if you're looking at something like a Caravelle or uh, one of the variations that's on there as well. So basically this is the main bike rack that most people look at when they're looking at the, uh, at the California. Uh, I'm going to take you through it today, show you how it works, uh, where you put your bikes etc, give you a good idea from on there and then I so said we're going to do a follow up video and we'll look at the other bike rack as well uh, and then we can compare the differences between the two. Uh, as you can see the bike rack is on the back of the vehicle, it's very very easy the way in which it goes on, uh, it is designed to be kept on the vehicle, it's not really, you can take it on and off but uh, uh, it's not as easy as it sounds and uh, essentially it lips over the top, it's on here, it comes over the top of the bar, uh, so obviously you can't have a spoiler uh, that's on the vehicle if you're having the, uh, the bike rack on uh, from there, I have seen one person who cut a hole in the spoiler. <laughs> on the back of a vehicle to actually get, uh, get it in, but uh, uh, generally speaking you have a spoiler or you have a bike rack, it's one or the other uh, that you're going to have on, on the back of the vehicle as well. So, and then it just lips around the back that's on here, um, you do have your, uh, your bolts etc which hold it in place that's here, but from a security perspective if the tailgate is shut this can't come off because you can't get it off with a, with a tailgate on, on that basis, so plus if you've got lots of bikes on there as well it's going to be quite heavy. Um, to give you an idea, so when we lift the tailgate up, I've just got the weight that's in there as well. Now on the California, the California comes with the upgraded struts already. Uh, so these are upgraded struts for the California because you've got uh, extra weight already in here on the tailgate that's here. Uh, if you've got a different vehicle, so if you've not got a California watching this video, uh, it's well worth getting the upgraded struts when you get the bike rack uh, as well. These are, they're fairly simple to, uh, to put these on, uh, but obviously what it will do then is if you've got the extra weight there as well, uh, it'll just uh, obviously stop from the, uh, the tailgate moving down. So anyway, let's get on to the actual bike rack itself. So uh, really easy with this one to, uh, to operate, basically hand at the top, give it a pull, uh, and it comes down and you'll see that it locks in place, there's these little uh, sections at the bottom here and this basically is going to lock into that as you'll see from there and go into place uh, and then that's a lot of weight on there uh, that you can get on there, 60 kilogram weight limit so it'll take plenty of weight that's on the bike rack, it'll take four bikes so you've got one, two, three, four so four bikes that go in on here uh, and obviously you've got three of these which hold the bikes in place. So uh, that one is the number is for the third bike, second and for the first. Now as I said if you've got four bikes on there so you'll have your third bike locked in with here so that will be on that particular bike that's there. You get this with the vehicle as well and this is what you use to lock in your fourth and final bike that's on the end there. So on your fourth and final bike so this links in between these two bikes. So quite easy self-explanatory one goes around one bike's tube and the other one goes around the other bike's tube that's on there those are on there all four bikes then are locked into the vehicle uh, and are not going to go anywhere in part two of this when we look at the other bike rack uh, we're going to actually get a bike and show you how it actually uh, goes on there but your bikes essentially go into here so your tires go in uh, on these sections that's on here uh, and you've got these on here so you you push the thing pull this up <clears throat> so your wheel is there and then that can go over uh, over your wheel. This actually moves as well, so you can move this up and down uh, as you need to that's on here. So, so you've got two things there, so you just pull, pull those together and then this will move up and down so you can go anywhere along this strip. Uh, and obviously that's depending on the size of the bike that you've got and again this one on this side does the same thing. It can move up and down because once you set it once, the chances are then that's it, you've got all your bikes in place. So the first time before you probably need to go out, I would suggest that you spend a bit of time getting the bikes in the right place, knowing which ones you want to put where, 
uh, and obviously get these uh, as they would do in the right position. Uh, so once you've got your bike in position, uh, this obviously then goes across the, the frame of the actual bike itself uh, and it's very simple, you just twist it out and obviously this is a, a grip. You put the tube in into that section there and then you tighten it back up and that's then what's going to hold that bike in place. Uh, and these have all got keys on them as well, um, so they've got a key for each of these that so can lock it. So once this is locked, that will just spin round and round and round and it won't undo any more. You can also change the position of these as well. Um, so <clears throat> these from on here, you can move them up and down. A lot of the time when I do see these bike racks and used up on the road as well is, I normally don't actually see four bikes on them. I do occasionally see four bikes, but the majority of the time it's two bikes. That's what I see a lot of the time. is. So you might not need all three of these that's actually on the bar in the first place. Uh, so to remove one, you just open it all up so you can. It's in there, push it together and then give this a pull. And you'll see there that it comes off and that's what's actually in the bar. So that would normally go around the bar at the top. I'll put my finger in there that would come down and then it goes on the tube that's on there as well. So you only need to put on there obviously what you've got. So if, you only, if you've only got two bikes generally that you put on there, uh, I would suggest that you remove the, the long one that's in there and just keep the two and then you can keep your bikes in the first two uh, channels as you go along as well. So when you haven't got any bikes on though, my advice for these is to make sure these are tight. So turn these around so that they're tight on each of the the ones so they don't move that's on those well and move them around because obviously you don't want them interfering with your rear wiper plus as well obviously this could rattle on your tailgate as you're driving along as well so uh, my advice for those is keep them tight that's on there when you're not using the bike rack and then obviously when you're not using the bike rack the bike rack comes back up uh, now I'm going to show you a little trick now that I've learned from, from using these and I'll, I'll explain to you why. So it has happened to me, but I did once when I was driving along one of these, the wind caught it from the back and actually, as I was driving along, that fell down and with a bit of a thud uh, as I was driving along. Um, obviously because it was a windy day, uh, the wind obviously caught it as it came around from on the side of it. Uh, it's only ever happened to me once, uh, I know one or two customers have had it as well. Uh, so on those instances, uh, on the old version of this, on if you had like a, a T6, T5 version, uh, it was quite easy because it had normal straps that you could get around it. Uh, but I tend to find with these, really good option uh, for these is, is to put these across this top bar. However, to do it properly, um, it's worth turning them around if you want to do it on a permanent feature. So uh, these end caps come off, um, you just pull them off from on there. These you can turn around and take out, turn it around the other way, put that back in, put that back in on the end and then when you pull it up to here, put it in there and then just move that up. like that, and that is never going anywhere then. Um, plus as I said, if you're away somewhere or something like that, again, other people, generally speaking, are not gonna be able to pull it down. You can do the same thing on the other side, and it just keeps it nice and secure there. Last two things on the bike rack. Um, number one, I get a lot of questions about this, is security. Uh, obviously nowadays bikes are quite worth quite a lot of money, and you've got bikes that are on the back of them as well. Um, and obviously, as I said, you've got these little locks that are on the on the corners here to stop these from spinning round. However, uh, if it was me and I was putting bikes on, when I have put bikes on in the past as well, is I have put a lock on the bikes as well. So if I've had two bikes on there, for example, I've locked the bikes together and locked it to the frame uh, as well, especially when I've been leaving them as well. You know, even if you go to service stations and all that, uh, I wouldn't just rely on these locks. They, they are good, they do do a job, um, but I'd, I'd put another lock on there as well, especially if you're gonna leave it somewhere for a little while without, uh, without unattended that's there. Uh, so that's the security part done. And then finally, the last thing is, is what other uses can you have for a bike rack? There's two things which you can use them for. One, uh, you can get an additional, not from Volkswagen, it's not something that we do, but uh, it is out in the market for these as well. You can use them for storage. So you can get a storage plate which goes on the top of here with a cover over it. Uh, so if you need extra space, for example, so say you're going away and you're not taking your bikes with them, but you've got the bike rack and you need to carry more things, you can get a storage pod that goes on the back uh, and you can put those in that's in there and gives you other options that's on there. Uh, and the final thing that I see loads of people using it for, especially when you are where you are, is actually using it as a towel dryer. So your tea towels, your, your, your towels for the, if you've had a shower and things like that, nicely go over the edge that's in there, put a little peg on as it goes down 
Uh, gets them all nice and dry in the wind as well, it saves you having to put a washing line up. Hope you enjoyed looking at the uh, bike rack here today. As I said, we've got another part to this coming up, so we're going to look at the additional bike rack, the bike rack which is uh, you could say is version 2, I've seen that mentioned online a couple of times, version 1 and version 2, uh, which is specifically designed for a vehicle with an electric tailgate, it's a little bit lighter, it does look slightly different to this. Uh, the way it works is the same, so it's four bikes, etc. that's on there. Uh, we'll bring like a part 2 version of this out and we can have a look at that bike rack as well. Uh, and then finally to wrap that up as well, as I'll, I'll bring one of the bikes in uh, and we'll put that on there as well and just give you a, a brief overview of how it goes as well. Um, now if you'd like to know how these bike racks actually are installed, so how you actually put them on the, on the vehicle, uh, obviously whenever you, if you buy one from a, a commercial centre, uh, we'd always put that on there for you, um, but obviously if you bought one online or something like that, if you'd like to know how you put those on, let us know in the comments box below, and if we get enough people, we'll, we could look at doing a video that, uh, that shows you how those particular ones go on as well. So as I said, I hope you'd enjoyed today's video, uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, it really helps the channel out, and we'll see you next time.